Aviation Week and Space Technology, often abbreviated Aviation Week or AW and ST, is the flagship magazine of the Aviation Week network. The weekly magazine is available in print and online, reporting on the aerospace, defense and aviation industries, with a core focus on aerospace technology. It has a reputation for its contacts inside the United States military and industry organizations. The publication is sometimes informally called Aviation Leak and Space Mythology in defense circles. Topic history The magazine was first published in August 1916 and changed to its current title in January 1960. Other titles the magazine has held include Aviation and Aircraft Journal 1920-1921, Aviation 1922-1947, Aviation Week 1947-1958, Aviation Week including Space Technology 1958-1959. Topic Editions. Once a month, the magazine publishes an edition targeted at the maintenance, repair, and overhaul business. Topic Ownership and related products. Aviation Week and Space Technology is published by Aviation Week Network, a division of Informa. The magazine is headquartered in New York, and its main editorial office is in Washington, D.C. Aviation Week Network also publishes business and commercial aviation and air transport world magazines. Topic: Notable stories. Topic: Nuclear bomber hoax. The 1 December 1958 issue of Aviation Week included an article, Soviets Flight Testing Nuclear Bomber, that claimed that the Soviets had made great progress in their own nuclear aircraft program. This was accompanied by an editorial on the topic as well. The magazine claimed that the aircraft was real beyond a doubt, stating that, "...a nuclear-powered bomber is being flight tested in the Soviet Union." It has been observed both in flight and on the ground by a wide variety of foreign observers from communist and non-communist countries." In reality, however, the article was a hoax. The aircraft in the photographs was later revealed to be an M-50 bomber and not a nuclear-powered plane at all. <laughs> Soviet reusable space shuttle After finding a December 1976 Titan IIID launch was for a secret KH-11 spy satellite, Aviation Week's space technology editor Craig Kovalt agreed with the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General David C. Jones to hold on the story, but received details on the Baran program which were published on March 20, 1978. It revealed progressively the keyhole story after William Campiles sold the KH-11 manual to a Soviet spy. Topic SR-72 Son of Blackbird revealing the SR-72 is the proposed successor to the SR-71 Blackbird. There were unconfirmed rumors about the State Route 72 dating back to 2007, when various sources disclosed that Lockheed Martin was developing a Mach 6 plane for the U.S. Air Force. Such a development was confirmed on 1 November 2013, when the Skunk Works revelations were published about the development work on the State Route 72 exclusively in Aviation Week and Space Technology. The magazine dubbed it, The Son of Blackbird. Public attention to the news was large enough to overwhelm the Aviation Week servers. Topic new, classified unmanned aircraft flying at Area 51 Uncovering in a December 9, 2013 cover story, Aviation Week and Space Technology revealed details about a highly classified intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance stealth unmanned aircraft, the RQ-180 that has been developed in secret by Northrop Grumman. The aircraft is currently flying at Area 51 in the Nevada desert and will become operational by 2015. Topic: 
Lockheed Martin's secret compact fusion reactor project details In October 2014, Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Research Lab gave Aviation Week editor Guy Norris access to a previously secret initiative to develop a compact fusion reactor that is small enough to power interplanetary spacecraft, ships and ultimately large aircraft that would virtually never require refueling. If successful, the groundbreaking project could shake up the global energy industry. Topic Vladimir Putin named Person of the Year on its January 16, 2015 cover, Aviation Week and Space Technology named Russian President Vladimir Putin, the notorious Mr. Putin, Person of the Year, on its website, the magazine said that no other person has had a more sweeping impact on aerospace and aviation, for better or worse, than Russian President Vladimir Putin. And for all but the most cynical of observers, Putin's far-reaching impact has definitely been for the worse. Because of this, he is Aviation Week's 2014 Person of the Year. The controversial issue caused a backlash among readers on its comments section and on social media, with some threatening to burn the print issue in protest. Topic past editors The editor-in-chiefs of Aviation Week and Space Technology and its past titles have been, Lester D. Gardner, 1916–1921 Ladislas Dorsey, 1921–1925 Donald W. McElhiney, 1925 W. Lawrence Lepage, 1925–1927 L. D. Osborne, 1927–1928 R. Sidney Bowen, Jr., 1928–1929 Edward P. Warner, 1929 to 1935 S Paul Johnston 1936 to 1940 Leslie E Neville 1941 to 1947 Robert H Wood 1947 to 1955 Robert B Hotz 1955 to 1979 William H Gregory 1979 to 1985 Donald E Fink 1985 to 1995 Dave North 1995 to 2003 Anthony Velocci 2004 to 2012 Joseph C. Anselmo, 2013 present. Topic: Publishers. Lester D. Gardner, 1916 to 1927. L. D. Osborne, 1927 to 1929. James H. McGraw, Sr. McGraw Hill Publishing Company, 1929 to 2013. Penton Media, 2013 to 2016. Informer PLC, 2016 present. Topic see also Air Transport World, sister publication of Aviation Week and Space Technology, focused on serving the airline management community.